Hello everyone, General Alpha here with another TFT video. In today's portal is Component Anvil, so we're gonna trash some kids. Now let's see what we have here. We have you have my sword, which is insane. Prize fighter, trade sector. Let's go for you have my sword. We're gonna go heavenly and we need a lot of swords in this specific build. Now that being said. Uh I kinda need a good item, thank you. That's a blood piercer. For the Gunnar. We got this for the Morgana, which is great. Maybe we'll get a crit. We did indeed got a crit. And we got the Mornolomicon. <clears throat> so now we just need a unit that can utilize this. We're insanely powerful. This is the build, by the way. Naturally, we're gonna have people contesting us. But we got such an explosive opener, there's literally not a single reason not to build it. We got such an explosive opener. We got all the right items as well, so we can't really complain. We're literally only missing one cane item, which is insane. Just from the get-go. So that will, I believe, deter some people from building the same build, but you know what? People are crazy, even on Platinum 1. People are... Insane. <laughs> they can change their build midway through, even though it doesn't make any sense. Just to like screw you over, so we definitely want a loon. That is a great pick to give you the item. That's one more gun item. We need Shojin. Shojin is extremely important. The thing I don't like about this build is that it's really heavy on the sword. You need three swords. Now, you have my sword actually made our life ten times easier. Because now we only need two swords, but still. Bam, bam, bam. Nice umbral. <clears throat> I guess we should put Nar in the back. It's not like a regular Nar where you have the Titan, the Titan Resolve. It's quite different. He needs to be on the back. Even though you have a ton of life steal, you still have a one. And we will need to level up as soon as possible, because we need to keep a 3 going. So we might as well do so now. I also want to put a loon in. I don't like the fact that I have uh, unutilized items. That being said, she's also Umbral, so if we get Yone, that's kind of massive, because we can equip the items on him. And then just basically kick ass. Dun, 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 dun. And let's see. Okay, we have you, but you're going for something different, clearly. Uh, this guy is going heavenly, but with this, this is odd. Why would you build this? Okay, we got Dryads and Doyer, which is totally fine with me. We got you. Okay. It seems like one guy may randomly go for my build. I don't think. I don't know what he's doing though. I have no idea what he's building. Like you put all of these items on a Cho'Gath, that's odd. Yeah, either way we're winning 100%. We're stronger than anybody in this game. We got such a banging opener. Okay, he does have Gargantuan. So no way he's going Kane. He might be going Volley or Yone, but he's not going Kane. Because Kane doesn't need it. Also it will be extremely foolish to do so. So we do need a sword, we need a lot of items, we need a crit, we need a sword, we need a rod. There's a lot of, plenty of items we can take here that will be useful. Sword is a higher priority, and we do have two sword here. I do like that sword on the Kuiana though. That's a two for one if nobody takes it. Awesome. Nobody took it, that's a two for one. Great. We got a Kuiana, and we got a sword. That is huge. <clears throat> For now, we will put it on the Gnar, because it's way more efficient, because of the You Have My Sword, it gives attack damage. We will put Gnar over here. So we'll not be targeted first. Big Strong Nico coming through. Now, I'll still keep a Loon, even though I got all the Mythics. I do need you in. We're losing Behemoth, but we're getting HP back. I didn't want to put Kuiana in, because I don't need that attack damage. But replacing the Cho'Gath for this is fine. 
because we get health bonuses. Oh wow, he's powerful. Okay, now our straight up went on the Caitlyn. Actually huge. Bang. And she's dead. Nara's giga sniped, but yeah, still big rock. Smash in. Awesome. We do have to uh, save the interest now. We're kind of falling behind a bit on money, but we secured a winning streak, so I guess that kind of was the point. So let's see. We got Umbral. Yeah, for sure he's going Umbral, which is good for us. We don't really care. Uh, this guy's going for Dryads. This guy, I know. I don't know what the hell he's building. This guy, also have no idea. This guy going Umbral as well, but he's keeping Heavenly, which I don't like. Yeah, this is the only guy I'm I'm scared of. I'm scared of. Like, he has nothing, but he can potentially steal my build. And people in this game are weird, bro. Like, they would literally lose the game. I literally play games when people change their build midway through the game to my build, and they instantly lose 8th or 7th place. Just to try to grab my build. And they don't re even realize it doesn't work this way. So the only thing they're doing is screwing me over. By the way, Lee Sin is absolutely crazy good. Absolutely nuts. Because now we can put Kuyanas in. And Lee Sin Miguel duel this buff. That is crazy good. Hold her until we hit the cane. That is really good. And yeah, basically people will literally lose themselves the game just to take my build midway through a match. Which is just as insane to think about. Okay, we got a Shoujin, but unfortunately I already took an eye. <laughs> I already gave it to the listen. I guess we can wait. Let's give this to you. And we can in fact start making tanky items. We have nothing... I guess we can potentially make another Bloodthirster for a Wukong, but no, that's hyper greedy. No way I'm going for that. So, let's put this on the Nico. But I don't want to buy level. Okay, it's fine. We'll have one item on the back. But... Yeah, I don't like it. But we have one item on the back. Until we put a Nico in, right now I really want Kriana for Duelist and Malphite. And Kha'Zix are level 2. Okay, so we did went for Broly Bear. As we expected. Which is respectable, but it's usually a bait. That being said, Broly Bear with Bruisers and well fed is kinda nutty because it scales with HP. So that's actually kinda nutty. That's something to look out for. Not for now though. <laughs> for now we kinda smash in. This guy is powerful. I think this guy will win against us. He got Urmbol Synergy, he got the Shoujin, he got the level 2s. He can potentially win Shock Treatment. Nope, everything is got a bash. Jeweled Lotus is absolutely nuts. Yeah, Jeweled Lotus is crazy. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Okay, so we need full can items. I actually don't want to give you the Shoujin because we don't have Morgana yet. I want full cane items. I want my cane to be superior. If we had a Morgana, I would have made this into a Shoujin, but we don't have a Morgana right now. So it is what it is. And Kha'Zix should be here. You can be here, I guess, and yeah. That's pretty much it. We did lose a bit of gold, but we didn't go below 40. So it's worth it. And yeah, I'm waiting with a sword. Because I want to see if I'll get uh, the armor or we get another item. Yeah, so this fool is going for the exact same build. Even though I got the cannon, I got everything, dude. I swear some people have no idea how to play this game on Platinum 1. Like, he's contesting me and I'm contesting him. Uh, for what reason? I already have the cane, bro. Like, I already won. Like, why would you do this? You're only gonna go downhill from here. 
I have more money, clearly. I'm level 6. I have full interest now. It's odd. It's odd, brother. But we'll keep an eye out on him. We have no really choice. Where is he? Remember that name? I mean, he might go Heavenly Yone. That's also a possibility. But other people are going Yone. So, like, why would you do that? Why would you do that? That's just weird. It truly is just weird. So, yeah, this guy got owned. And, yeah, we need one more round. And then we can have maximum efficiency. Dun, dun, dun. We shouldn't have bought, bought experience. We should have bought this, but never mind that now. I don't think we're gonna level her anyway. Yeah, this guy we're definitely winning against. His Yone is ultra weak. Arcane is super powerful. Yeah, no one has a chance. That random cane was too good. And the fact that I got leasing before that, though, it was even crazier. Yeah, we're going on a massive winning streak. I had an insane opener. I had an insane opener. That's one of those games. Come on, the Volibear guy. The Volibear guy is the one that scares me, actually. I know it sounds kind of stupid because he's clearly giga losing, but... His build can potentially tear people up. Oh, the cane. Oh my god, please someone take him. Please someone take that cane. I don't want this guy to have it. I need someone to take him immediately. I need one of these two to actually take it. Take the cane. Take the cane, bro! Yes, thank you. Awesome. I just don't want this guy to have it. Okay, so we do need this. And this is exactly why we didn't put the sword on the cane. We just want to see if we'll get an armor. Now we'll just go show Jin. There we go. So now you'll have Shoujin. And I guess as long as we have nothing to do with this, we can put this on the back row. Not really giving us anything too significant. So level 8, we're gonna roll away all of our gold naturally. Just keeping it. Dude, this guy is level 5. I'm almost 7. How the hell is he level 5? Our only contester. And this guy will slow roll at 7, so I'm not too worried about him. Because his percentage is low. For now, we are going to continue to win streak. I do like a Loon because she spreads the Mortal Nomicon really well. That's why I chose to have her. As the current carrier. But yeah, that's insane. Like, we're not stopping. We got Giga Lucky this match. Did him. Oh, he has the Shen build with the APOC. That is sick. That is sick. I mean, oh wait, that's not him. It's him with the Idealism. Yeah, that's an interesting combination. Uh, again, one round. Oh, that's really good. That is really good. I guess we'll, we'll put the target dummy to keep the target dummy safe. And we do need to insert someone. I guess none of them give me anything. Let's put a Jackson. Because we can. We'll give him this. Because it's a throwaway unit. It's kind of unfortunate we didn't end up getting a Nico leveled up. But at least we saw one Nico, which I guess is the most important part. The most important part is to get a Kane and a Morgana. And we already have Kane. So leveling him up should be a breeze. Okay, this is the guy with the Shen. Now, that being said, we need a crit, we need a glove, and we need armor. A crit, we need, we need a sword, I mean. We need a crit glove, a sword, and armor. Okay, he's tearing us up, actually. Wow, he's ultra powerful. Oh my god. Okay, but yeah, he has full items, so it makes sense. Our time has come. And he rolled away literally all of his gold. At level 5. Dude, this is a slow roll 6 build. Why you rolled away all of your gold at 5? You'll just end up losing. Just sell you for interest. 
we're almost level 8. Let's see if someone is getting on our tail here. I don't care about you. You're irre irrelevant. Uh, this guy is level 5. Okay, so he's slow rolling. Yeah, he's rolling. He's slow rolling at 5 for some reason. Oh my god, he changed his build to a cane build. Instead of Yone. Dude, what a fool. What a fool. Ooh. Oh my days, bro. Oh my days. We got us. Oh my god. We got the perfect items Dude, what in God's name is this RNG and we got a Morgana. Are you kidding me? That is insane That is what is that RNG, bro? Oh my god Dude that is that is crazy. Oh my days. Oh my days, uh, dude. Okay, we literally only need a Soraka, but we need to end around here, and then we can roll away until we hit Morgana 2 and Kane 2. Then we go on a winning rampage, probably. Bro, this is crazy. We got all the important Morgana items. The Shoujin is the most important one, because every caster is useless without a Shoujin. Yeah, we're tearing people up. Literally being burned alive. <laughs> Kane tearing people up. Morgana, you need to shoot at the right targets. Okay, finally. Reach there. Morgana is really good in making people lower until Kane comes in to finish them. But I guess that's the point of Reaper. Yeah, they both can critically strike. Oh wait, so this is really good with this, with the Jewel Lotus, because now Kane just deals more damage. I have my bow. Ginsu Morgana incoming. Kick. Balance budget. I do love heavy hitters. Stand United is garbage. Let's take heavy hitters. Throw away everything. Any Wukongs? There we go. There you are. No more Ganas? Nope. Okay. Keep a Zir in. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I guess we'll wait. We win the next one, then we purchase a Soraka. Okay, that's it though. We have Kuyana 2. We have Yuan 2. We have Kanon 2. I mean, I guess the Kanon 2 is the most important one, but it could have been nice if we got Morgana, but you can't have it all. So. We got the important bits, now we'll save to level 9. And that Azir is kinda... it's kinda sussy. But that's the legendary we ended up getting. I guess we could've gone for the Tway, but I wanted someone more powerful. And I do love Azir. Yeah, nobody's winning against us now. Dude rolled away all of his gold. <laughs> he has no... What are these arguments, dude? Why did he go for it? He could... The well-fed is good. Like, I see people clap with the well-fed. But the Ascension, I guess, oh, I guess his idea was, like, I'll take an Ascension, they'll have a lot, my units will have a lot of health, then they get the damage from the Ascension. But it never really turns out that way. Okay. One round remaining. We're getting so much gold for the QA as well. So that is, ah, really good. Really, really, really good. Now, this guy is on a winning streak, but that being said, he's really powerful. Oh, they got the Shannon streak. Got the Shannon tree. Okay. Spect. That being said, we are ultra powerful right now. Yeah, this is the heavenly guy. Okay, so he slow rolled to get a Darius. That is so weird. That is so weird. I'm... I don't know, man. Like, this is Platinum 1. You would have expected people to be a bit brighter than that. But, okay, as long as you're not taking my build, I guess it's fine. Well, technically we did, but it's not really the end of the world. So, we do need a crit. A glove would be aston astonishing or astounding, one would say. We haven't gone below. Oh no! It's uh, both of the gloves are on the legendaries. No one is gonna let me have it, dude. Uh, they're gonna be the first one to be taken as well. Okay, I guess the second one to be taken. But okay. 
This sucks. I guess we'll go for a tanky item. We can go for a belt. I'll take it. I'll take a belt. Belt is good. We could have gone for a death cap for a Morgana, but we still have one more try with the Raptors. So I kind of like to wait and see what our options before doing anything too crazy. And the good thing is Nico is now level 2, so we can in fact just get her the items, the tanky items. At least that way Morgana will be safer. Uh, Zero also kind of claps, but we will trade him for Wukong when the time is right. Oh wait, we haven't purchased the Soraka? Oh man, I totally forgot about it. What an idiot. Okay, I... Bro, I was like, where is the Soraka on the bench, but... I'm rambling. That's the problem of making a video and trying to, like, play the game. I'm new to this, so... Trying to, like... <laughs> To cycle between talking and actually playing the game is quite difficult for me because I'm not used to it. Just maintaining that balance. But I hope you guys are enjoying it. And perfect. Yeah, Kane doesn't even take any damage, dude. I just want to test uh, myself against like this guy because clearly he's powerful. Damn, that's a, that's such a sick build. I gotta give it to him. That is such a sick build. I love it, real Shen. Nice! Kobuko Dance. It gives us some items. Nice. Let's see what we get. There we go. Morgana 2. Component Anvil. There's the crit. And we got a Morgana 2 just without even rolling. That is huge. Okay, so now we need tank items. Perfect. And perfect. We got it. We actually got the perfect items. Wow. Dude, what a game. We got all, all the items? That is crazy good. That is crazy good. I can't believe we got everything. So what the hell do we go for now? I guess we can go for armor and something. We can go for the final tank item. But that's huge, because now the Morgana is actually way safer. After the cane is being targeted and Edge of Night popping, people usually go after... I mean, the units usually go after the Morgana. At least now they can go for the Nico. You see? Exactly. Exactly like now. Now our Zero is safe, Morgana is safe, Nico is being one-shotted. Whoa, whoa, dude, what the hell is this? Oh my god, he wins. He one-shots me. Okay, that, that was crazy. Bro, that was crazy. Whoa. Dude, Morgana did no damage. What? Kane did no damage. I mean, I understand Shin did everything, but how the hell Kane didn't totally butchered him? That is crazy. What? Dude, I was 100% certain we are going to win this. He's not even that tanky. Dude, okay, I guess. Okay, we got armor. Got magnetic remover, kek. Let's get another armor. Nope, we didn't get armor, but we did end up getting gargoyles. Which is perfect. Okay, that was too crazy for me. I mean, how the hell did he want that? How the hell did he want that? But okay, we will go level 9 now. We are ahead of him. I don't think anyone else is winning against us. I know, man. Mor Morgana doesn't seem that powerful. I guess you still... I guess we have no other choice but like to put the items on her. Because she is still powerful, but she doesn't seem that powerful. This build is more about the cane. You can clearly tell. What the hell is he doing? Oh, because he has Gorgantua and he went for Lee Sin. With this, dude, you're gonna die in seconds. You're not even gonna reach maximum stacks, you're just dead. Yep. That, 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 was, that was odd <laughs> decision, man. I mean, don't get me wrong, our Genshin is broken and you can absolutely win roll game with this item. But, not like this, you don't need three copies. 
You're good with two and then a blood earther. That's usually the way to go. Okay. We could have had a level up Soraka by now, by now but I'll, I will take the blame. I'll take the blame. I kind of messed up there. Now, I think this might be a level 10 game. I'm pretty sure oh, the only guy that wins against me is this guy. And right now, we have a full cycle of people to just demolish. So, potentially a level 10 game. Not really sure, though. We'll have to wait and see. What a tide brings. Okay, this is the Heavenly Darius guy. New build. Nice Wukong. Heavenly Darius, OP! Yeah, I'm literally burning everyone alive. I guess Morgana is dealing good damage. Yes, she is. Yeah, she's dealing even more damage than Kane. You just can't really tell because it happens in per ticks. Whoa, 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 whoa! Dude, what the hell? Okay, that was actually closer than I wanted it to be. <laughs> oh my god. What? Darius is crazy. I guess the Wukong is also insane. Once we have a Wukong, nobody can take us. Not even this guy with a Shen. But yeah, we need to reach that Wukong. But now we have we have time. We have insane amount of HP. The fact that this guy survived on 1 HP is actually really good for us as well. Every time someone stalls the match, goes, um, goes you know, good for me. <laughs> Basically just good for me. This guy is on a non-stop winning streak though. It just goes to show how really powerful this build is. This and Midnight Siphon are actually really, really good. I also saw someone taking first place with the Nico one. Forgot its name. Midnight Siphon is the Yorick one. You have the one with the Nico, which is also really, really, really good. But it's less, you know, it's less good. It's just straight up worse than all the others because Nico is the most contested unit out of the three. I believe you have one with Garen, but it's not really that great. Uh -huh. Okay, he's level 9 and he wasted all of his gold, so I'm not expecting a win here. That being said, if we win, that's insane. Nice is here, brother. Yeah, we did end up winning. Kenny just crazy. We won a level 9 guy that rolled away all of his gold. It just goes to show you how powerful that build is. And don't get me wrong, once we get a Wukong, we'll totally demand <laughs> this guy conceded. Once we get a Wukong, oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, he already took Heavenly Emblem. He doesn't need to. It's the guy with the Heavenly, right? Yeah, nobody needs it. Only I need it. Only I. Oh! Juicy! This guy's FK even. Oh my days. What a match. What a match, my brother. And we have no one to put this on but the Azir, unfortunately. Usually I would like to put this on a tank. Right now you will take it though. So we get some Omni Vamp, if I'm correct. Indeed. Oh my days, dude. No, no, no. Oh, he lost to someone. Interesting. I wonder who. Wait, how did he lose to someone that we won? Oh, this guy. Okay, he's powerful. Oh my god. Yeah, I just saw that Kai said my heart dropped. Okay, Kane is way closer to the Shen now. That being said, he's Giga protected. Morgana, please burn all the right units. Okay, I guess we killed these early units now. We're way more powerful now. Look at the tanky Nico, bro. She survives all the damage. Yeah, he's dead. That's where his belt start to fall off. Nice Kane. No, dude, why do you go into Cho'Gath? Okay, I guess he heals. He got one-shotted. Dude, what was that targeting? Okay, I end up losing it to targeting. Shame on you, Kane. Shame on you. How did he went from here to here? What the hell? Dude, Kane literally went for it here. Shen was here and he went for here. Uh, what? For the Cho'Gath. Bruh. Shame on you. Shame on you. Oh my days. Okay, I don't think this is a level 10 game. We need to go level 9 and grab all the legendaries. I don't think we're winning against this guy. And clearly he doesn't have Wukong. Nobody grabbed Wukong. So, yeah, we have a free Wukong. We really need him. We really need him. I cannot stretch this enough. I guess we can go level 10. Oh, it's super greedy. We can just win. 
But this is this is for a YouTube video, so I might as well go all in. You know what? Uh, let's see if we win against this guy. It might change my opinion. Pretty sure we will. He's way slower. So the Sunray is gonna turn him into a teapot. Oh, yeah, the Sunray is really weak, actually. Yeah, okay, we're definitely winning. She turned to Nico. He deals absolutely no damage. Never mind, he rolled me. That, that was unexpected. But yeah, we have to roll for Wukong. <laughs> Wait, who are we missing here? That is Zier. Yeah, just missing a Wukong, right? Let's wait till the dragon begins and then we'll put a unit in. Okay, we have to roll. Unfortunately, we are losing. We have to get a Wukong ASAP. Nobody grabbed him, so that's good. He's not even on someone's backboard right now. Kaisa and an item will go for Wukong item, block your strays. Absolutely nuts, my man. Any Wukongs? Thank you. Shall I prove them right? And you grab Dabalad Thirsta. And now we can go level 10, actually. Now we can do that. No problem whatsoever. I guess this guy has a cane and he is winning, so there's no point in going for a cane. We will go for a level up Morgana. Now we're 10 times more powerful. We got Heavenly 7. Insane bonuses. Insane. Okay, his damage is also insane. Oh my god. Dude, oh my days. He's tearing us up. What the hell? Whoa, dude, his damage was crazy. He has Kaisa, but... Shouldn't we be stronger than a Kaisa? That's interesting. This guy's out, for sure. Oh my god, can we reach level 10? I'm pretty sure we can. I'm pretty sure we can. Because we should win against this guy now 100%, and I'm pretty sure we can also win against this guy. What the hell is going on, though? Why aren't we... Why aren't we smashing? Let's change positioning. I'm like this. Do you give me something? Yeah, you at least give me Behemoth. Like, you don't give me anything. I guess we can take Rakan for Ultras. But we do have Behemoth. That being said, if we'll encounter a Rakan, it's quite good as well. I mean, yeah, we should definitely win against this guy now. We purposely changed our position, so now Kane is smashing. Finally, we're hitting the Shen. Thank God. Yeah, okay, we won. Finally, we're hitting the Shen. Dude! What is that damage? Holy! Holy, man. His build is nuts. Okay, this guy's out. He had our Morgana. So now Morgana is completely uncontested. That is potentially a 3-star Morgana game. Potential 3-star Morgana game. Uh, who do we put in for our next one? Rakan for sure. Yeah, he's gotta be Rakan. We need his bounce. We can also put him here, which I really like. So it's gonna be a level 10 game since we can afford to lose, I believe, two or three more rounds. And we will win against this guy. Nice, he changed his position to be exactly next to the cane, so now he's getting sliced. And he lost aggro because he focused cane first, so now it's Shen dies first. That was a huge mislay, my guy. Yeah, you're dead. We didn't quite take him out, though. The other guy will. So, let's see, what do we have here that is interesting? A second Heavenly Emblem! <laughs> we, we actually don't need a Heavenly Emblem, that's the funniest part. I guess we'll get... Oh, wait, we have the SF with a really good item for the Wukong. Nice! We got a really good Wukong item, the End of Justice. Crazy good. He took the Death Blade? Okay, sure. Awesome. 
So let's see. He's clearly nabbing my Wukongs. That being said, he rolled away all of his... Oh, he sold Wukong. That's awesome. Okay. So, yeah, the dude, like, he wasted... Yeah, I won. I literally won. He wasted all of his gold at level 9. I won. Yeah, that's, that's game. That's GG. Once I reach level 10, I just win straight up. I can afford to lose two more times, and then I win. I mean, that's how it's supposed to go. And we even got a legendary, so we can sell him. Get two more levels. Uh-huh. We did swap Morgana, so Seth doesn't focus her. This is great. We are going to lose this man. His damage is insane. Oh, because of the pumping up and the Jeweled Lotus. That's why his damage is so crazy. Even though our Morgana... We're dealing quite similar damage, but his Silas is powerful. Silas is FR powerful. But that's okay. We're gonna have our Rakan soon. Uh, and this guy somehow survived, which is interesting. But I guess now he's 100% guaranteed to play against this guy, and I'm the one getting the PvE round. So... Yeah, we're definitely uh, losing this one if <laughs> if it's against this guy. But then we go level 10. Because we have a Rift Herald, which we, of course, are gonna just win against. It's not Crab Rail. Okay, so... Oh! We're PvE against this guy? Nice! We even ended up winning. That is sick. Dish. Nice one, Morgana. Okay, Shen jumped all the way to the back and he's focusing Kane, which I don't like. Okay, Kane is dead. But everyone is dogpiling on the Shen. That being said, my Morgana is ultra weak. Okay, he's going on the Nico. Yeah, he's too powerful, man. He's way too powerful. That is crazy how, how good Shen is. But it's fine, we calculated it. We calculated everything. Okay, this guy's out. Only you left. Mm -hmm. So that is a level 10. I think he knows that, but he has nothing to do. He already wasted all of his gold. So please, Wukong item me. See what did we get? Okay, let's see. Oh, perfect! Absolutely perfect. That's a level 10, my man. Okay, Aurelia, you. I should have bought that wood here. No Rakan? Really? Okay, we got no Rakan somehow. Which is quite annoying, I'm not going to lie. We'll put you in. We don't need another Wukong. Hmm? Why do we type GG already, man? You don't know! You don't know! Okay, that being said, he's extremely powerful. Okay, Udyr went to the back line. Kane is kinda tough, kinda healing. GG's! <laughs> nice free GG, dude. Oh my god, but to be fair, he might set it to my uh, favor here. Okay, GG, dude. I, I knew I already won. I had free level 10. GG's, my man.